this is Jill from Fabric Garden in Sacramento, California. Welcome to our Thursday evening Facebook Live. We, this is a time where we take a moment and just show you anything new that's come in, talk about upcoming events and things like that. So we thank you for joining us. Uh, I want to thank everyone who came last week to our Valentine open house. We had a lot of fun eating heart cookies and drinking pink lemonade and all those things. So we have put a couple of things from that event up to the website now. Um, we had showed you the little Be Mine pattern and we got a little sample for that now. Uh, this cute little zipper kit. Oops, I dropped a pattern, sorry. Uh, one of my favorite parts about this little bag is the bottom of it. It looks like I'm some sort of expert sewer and that I did a set in bottom on this bag, but it is really just a boxed bottom. It's all about fabric placement, so it's really cute. So for the Valentine event, we have put together, I'm gonna call these starter kits. These are kits, there's a six 16 3 inch by six by 21 inch strips and those are the exact fabrics that we used in our sample and then it also contains a fat quarter of red grunge which is the heart the lining and the bottom so this will get you started making the heart pouch but you will need to order the pattern, that is separate, and um, you will, this also requires some interfacings and a zipper. Um, here in the store, we love the Atkinson Design zippers for these smaller zipper bags. Um, they're, they come in 14 inch and 22 inch sizes. Uh, this is a 14 inch, but they're wonderful. They come in beautiful colors. Um, so you could do a red zipper, you could do an aqua, a pink. Uh, I liked this, I love lime green, so that's what I put on mine. Uh, so if you are in the store, we, will, we can just go ahead and get your interfacings all cut. If you're ordering online, put the kit, put the pattern, and then in the notes section before you order, just write that you'd like to get the interfacings and a zipper and um, we can get those added to your order. So the other little kit we did for our Valentine event was for this uh, heart log cabin quilt. And again, it's just a little starter kit. So this is, um, let me pull these out so you can see them better. This is three quarters of a yard of pinks and purples. They are the exact ones that we used in our quilts and they are all cut and ready to go. And uh, we didn't put any background in here. We used white, but we were thinking, oh, how pretty would it be with a really light gray, a light purple background. So we wanted to give you the option to make this little quilt your own by selecting whatever color background works for you. So you would just put the little log cabin strip kit and make sure to add the log cabin heart pattern. Now, this little quilt uses traditional log cabins, but it also has some curvy log cabins. And the pattern is using the Creative Grids four inch curvy log cabin trim tool. Um, so we love these log cabin trim tools. They work so beautifully. Oh, okay. uh, we also had out for our Valentine event, and it's really more sewing, but it has a little heart on here. This is from all through the night, that's Bonnie Sullivan. And these are little bowl fillers. And 
I'm going to pull this out because sometimes the plastic. So the way Bonnie Sullivan works, is her patterns come with pre-printed fabric. So the kit comes with the pre-printed fabrics ready to add your wool. And then we have gone ahead and kitted in all the colors of wool that you will need to stitch this. So that is called stitching time. And the pattern um, is full color. It has all the layouts, shows ex all the stitches. And it also does include, if you would rather have a small quilt instead of just bowl fillers that you could make a small little sewing quilt. So that little kit is new up to the website. Okay, so we are expecting some new fabric lines next week. So we are expecting a line from Gingerbur called Meadow Mirror. And this line is got metallic in it. It is elegant. It is dark and with bright colors. It is gorgeous. And we are expecting ours to be on the way in here by next week. So keep your eye out for Meadow Mirror from Gingerbur. And the other line that we are hoping will come in the next week or two is Corey Yoder's new line and it is called Sunwashed. And I couldn't get a very good picture off the internet, but Corey is going to be doing a sew-along. And this is a mystery sew-along. So we will be putting together kits that will contain the jelly roll, it will contain the background fabric, it will contain the binding fabric, and it will also contain the required yardage for the seven blocks. This is going to be an interesting quilt along. Corey will be running this on her block, but if you pick up a kit from us, we will make sure to email you the link to her blog every week so that you can always easily find the pattern. But she will be releasing two versions of each block pattern, one for intermediate quilters and one for beginning quilters. So she is, is, has got a little more complicated block or a more simplified block every week. Now, of course, you don't have to make a block every week. Once she posts to her blog, that is up there for, I think it's up there forever. So you will be able to do that. But watch for the kits. Uh, we will be getting some uh, pre-sale kits so that you can have everything you need to start sewing when Corey starts posting on her blog, which she is, she won't start posting till the fabrics ship to the shops. She's thinking it'll be starting February. Uh, we do have a couple other kits that I thought I would want to mention. We do have this beautiful uh, My Heart kit. And this is using the Happiness Blooms fabric. Um, beautiful, beautiful line with the greens and the aquas and the creams. And last week I showed you the Canyon Birds fabric and we have got the kits ready now. This kit will make a table runner and four placemats and it is ready to go. It, so it contains all the fabrics for the top and all the binding fabric. And of course the pattern. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to talk about is on Saturday the 28th, uh, there is the annual local quilt shop day. And that is put on by Fab Shop Network. This is a worldwide quilting event and this is just to celebrate the joys of your local quilt store. 
So we will be celebrating Local Quilt Shop Day and we will be demonstrating Creative Grid's newest log cabin trim tool called the Wonky Log Cabin. And this is a 10 inch crooked kind of log cabin block. And we will be running a special where if you purchase the ruler, we will include the cut loose press, one of the cut loose press patterns that uses the ruler for free. We will also be running our skinny bolt sale that will be in store only. And our skinny bolt sale, we travel through the shop and we pull bolts that have four yards or, or less and uh, bolts that maybe are starting to become little orphans in that. And they are, will be on sale for $7.50 a yard if you take what's left on the bolt. So some of these bolts may have as little as a yard and a half none more than four yards. So it's fun to come in and shop. It's a great time to pick up some borders, backings, bindings, uh, just colors that you love to work with. So that will be Saturday, January 28th, and it will be regular store hours from 10 until three. And of course we will have some snacks and treats and things to keep you sustained through your shopping. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, make sure to check out the website and take a closer look at everything I've shown you tonight and we will see you next week. Thank you.